All right, guys, so we're working on this 2006 Nissan Frontier, and we're gonna be replacing the low, not the low beams, but the headlight bulb, which is gonna be a 9007, which acts as a low beam and high beam. It has both functions, the dual, dual filament, and we're gonna show you how to replace them, all right? We're gonna be using the LS 9007s on these, and we'll show you how they look. So light them up, these are the halogen bulbs right now. Okay, that's your halogen, that's low beam, high beam, that's your high beam. Not sure if you can really see the switch, but real quick, I'll turn off the lights. Go back to low beam. So that's your low beam, high beam. Okay, and let me show you that wall projection real quick. Low beam. Okay, high beam. Low beam. High beam. Okay, so we're gonna get started and show you how they look. All right, guys, so we got our bulbs ready here. These are the LS 9007s, and we're gonna be installing these, but before we get to that, we're gonna remove the original. As you can see, the actual bulb is right here, the plug for it. So what I recommend is first disconnect the plug. So just press a little clip on top, just push it inwards, and it should pop out just like that. It might take a little bit of force if you never removed them before, but these have been replaced uh, before, so it's actually a little bit easy. So then at that point, just turn your locking clip to the left and your bulb will just pop out like that okay so we're gonna be reusing the locking clip or ring okay put that to the side get our bulb and you actually have to remove this first so it just twists off put that to the side and put this over the bulb just make sure that the little spikes go to the back and not forward because if they do then you won't be able to lock it and then you're gonna get your adapter back in again. Make sure that once it sits flush, that you twist it to make sure it locks in place so it won't come off. And at this point, realign it into the housing and get it installed, okay? And another tip, you wanna make sure that these chips, you see how they're uh, staggered, one is forward, one is back. You wanna make sure that the one that's going forward, the one on top right here, is gonna be in this position when it's finally installed, okay? This is how it has to be because the top one is gonna be your low beam and the bottom one's gonna be your high beam. So if you have it in this position when you install it, when you activate low beam, it'll shoot it upward so it'll look like a high beam and when you activate the high beam, it's gonna shoot it down. So make sure that when, it, when you finally finish installing it, it's in this position, okay? You wanna have it in this position, not this position, okay? This one. So let's get this installed. So real quick, I wanted to show you what I meant by if you put it upside down. Currently, as you can see, the, it's set up in low beam, but the LED side is actually higher than the halogen side. And when you activate the high beam, the LED actually goes down and the, and the halogen goes up. You can see that? So this means that the bulb and the LED is actually installed backwards, okay? Remember how I showed you those chips? So I'm gonna put it back to low beam. And all you're gonna do is remove the bulb. Flip the bulb at 360 degrees. Okay, after adjusting the bulb to the correct orientation with those chips facing where they're supposed to be, you can see now that the pattern matches the halogen. So if you activate high beam, it'll go up. If you do low beam, it'll go down. And due to being a brighter bulb, you are going to get more light coming out of this. So you can see that the spread is going to be a little bit more wider compared to the halogen. So you're going to be seeing more on the ground and also a little bit more higher too, okay? So this usually doesn't cause any problems with incoming traffic or the traffic in front of you. So you don't have to worry about having to adjust the headlights. We haven't had to do that on these type of vehicles after installing, but if your vehicle is raised, then yes, please uh, get your lights adjusted so you don't blind incoming traffic or people in front of you, okay? So we're gonna move on now to the passenger side. You get that halogen replaced with the LED and show you how it looks. We got this completed, light them up. There we go, we got the low beams, then we got the high beam. Hopefully you can catch that. And real quick, back to low beam. We're gonna set up for the light pattern so we can show you. Okay, so we're gonna go, right now we're in low beams, high beams. There we go, both of them are matching, both of them are going up at the same time. Low beam, 
and that's what you want okay so remember guys if you do <clears throat> if you guys have a different pattern in this that it's actually going the opposite directions then you know that the bulb is just installed incorrectly just follow these steps again and do what we told you and that should fix your issue and if you still have issues then at that point give us a call and we'll take care of it but there we go again high beam low beam <clears throat> that's what you want okay so guys thank you for watching that's pretty much it this installation is really easy and quick so if you have any questions let us know and we'll take care of it we'll catch you in the next video